Can I put a hat on? Bring my hat, bro. <laughs> I was surfing, uh, me and my friends, we were all surfing, uh, having a good time. Noticed that there was somebody over taking pictures of us, and it was Catherine's mom, and me and her talked, she was telling me that you know, she had taken pictures and stuff, and uh, that she would get them to me if I wanted them. I was like, yeah, sure, and then she told me that her daughter was coming in, and I was like, okay. you know, see, their daughter's coming in, cool deal. I met Catherine, we started talking, and <laughs> it happened so quick, but it was like, it was like time to slow down. <laughs> We ended up going walking on the beach just to get away from everybody. It was like I knew her forever. It was like we were best friends, like already. I ended up the next day, I was kind of you know, freaking out. I was like, man, like I really like her, I really like her. Her family was leaving, coming back to Missouri. And then she called me like a day later, she's like, hey, I'm flying back down. Can I come stay with you? I was like, oh, of course. <laughs> of course. She's like, perfect, amazing. Like she's beautiful, smart, sweet. You know, she just brings out the best of me. She make, you know, makes me happy. Just being around her, her personality. You know, she's always laughing, joking around. You know, just such a positive vibe when you're around her. Like she, just a perfect person. I keep saying perfect, but she's perfect. Yeah, I miss her so much. I've only been away from her for like three, four days. I was telling the guys, I was like, you know, we've been, you know, it's been nice being with you guys and you know, hanging out with y'all, seeing all you guys, you know, just catching up. But I'm ready to be back with her. I miss her so much. Here's Margaret sitting next to me. Um, I'm sorry. She's supposed to be here, um, and I, I know she is, but I know if she was here, she would be here next to me, and Matt, she would love you so much. She seriously would. She would be wanting you to give her kisses, and she would come give you a kiss and all the things, and she just, from her, she would just be so happy for you guys and so excited, and fully welcoming you into the family like you would be her favorite human being. Margaret's watching over us as well. We miss her dearly. We know that she's here in spirit with us, just as you are. In your blessed son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. We choose another not to complete us, but really to complement us, for we are whole on our own. And rather, we choose a best friend who helps us live and love better than we could on our own. And as amazing as you each are in your own right, you're better because you've chosen to journey this life together as one. Excited? Yeah. You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yes. No, no, right. But I now pronounce you husband and wife. After you may now kiss your bride.
You guys are very happy for you, and I love you both. So, congratulations. But since I've known you, you've never been anxious or nervous a single day that you've met Catherine and been around her. You never fumbled at your fingertips. You never struggled on your words. You never tripped on your own feet. You have always been squared away and knew just what to do.